I'm going to sign right here and then uh, two juice. 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 I have to be out here for Mark's card show. Let's have go. to be out here. Nice, Let's go, man. baby. Mark's cards to the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna rip from cards. We're gonna have some fun. Look at this weather. You can't beat this weather. I come from 115 degrees. Holy so, moly! You know, we're having a good time out here. Okay. MSB Wax on Instagram on whatnot. Follow us on the whatnot platform. I'll be honest. Breaking is dying on Instagram. What not to the moon. On there, we're having fun, ripping some great cards. We're out here right now at the sports card show to show everyone what it's all about. We're buying slabs for you guys. We're doing it for you guys. Mark Card Show, Camarillo, California. I got all these in trade, so I traded down, but I got some really good value. The guy got a card he was looking for, so I got a, one of the same card, but in an 8.5. So this was the card that I moved in a 9.5. Got a PSA 10, got an auto. A couple first year prism gems, a heritage, uh, second year, but it's like his first heritage card. And some uh, smart, some Don Chicks, Iverson. So that was the one big deal. And literally five minutes before that, I did another deal and picked up awesome uh, Luca Optic Red, number to 99. And then uh, a second year blue, 199. So, last 30 minutes, stuff has been moving. I mean, I still have another one, so I don't feel that bad about it, but uh, I love this card, like the Trout Diamond Anniversary is one of my favorite cards, it was like a grail of mine for a long time, so uh, this one I've actually had for over a year, so we'll, we'll see what happens, maybe I'll hold on to this one. Hi, I'm the Great Curator on Instagram. Uh, pretty much, uh, I, I talk, I show you all my collections, I show you uh, kind of my journey through the hobby, and then I also try to put out like educational blurbs up there i also do youtube videos so i just kind of talk about like how to get into a hobby how to do valuations and things like that so it's kind of you know hopefully people can find it useful yeah i'll show you some i'll show you some cool stuff here so this is a pickup i got from uh the national uh two of five kobe bryant national treasures on card auto uh pop one highest grade auto 10. so that's a pretty cool one you're not going to see one of those anywhere else this is a dual auto shack penny okay also pop one 10 in the series, you're not gonna find that anywhere else. That's a nice combo. Right? Yes, yes, so you're a fan of the 90s. This is a Kobe Noir feature length, but matching jersey number, 24. So that's a pretty cool card. Oh, nice. And then if you go over here, you'll see some of the really cool stuff. My favorites here, uh, Hogan PMG, 2013 Upper Deck uh, Employee Exclusive Giveaway. Wow. Limited to the 125. Yeah. I've got the best Ultimate Warrior Refractor collection in the world here, the whole rainbow. All seven of them. Damn. And then uh, a Gary V auto right there. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that every day. I'm The Great Curator on Instagram and on YouTube, The Great Curator. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Petrocast Sports Cards out here at Mars Card Show. Uh, my first time, love it. The weather's beautiful. Can't wait to come back. The uh, show's been amazing, it's been bumping, lots of deals. We're getting ready to close down over here on some massive deals and look forward to go ripping uh, some stuff in the shop. I've been collecting since uh, 2004, really buying in 2007 and 2010, which has really helped out nowadays, especially with prices for back then, selling now. It's uh, made me uh, a much easier person to deal with because I wasn't buying peak times. Yeah, so nowadays uh, I'm older. Uh, a lot of these kids call me their dad. Um, I'm 36, so it's fun to mentor. It's fun to help uh, kids and like you know show them don't buy base cards. You know, don't just uh, like go for stuff that like help guide them into what you should do. Put your money into you know uh, just giving back and showing kids and like profit loss and math skills. It's just fun for me. So yeah, um, I'd probably say like. Uh, Fifth Down Sports, Andy got me on Instagram probably like three years ago, and it really got me back going again. And then I did my first show about six months ago. This is my third show, so Denver show, Nats, and now here at Mark's, and I'll be back. So yeah, uh, at Petrocat Sports Cards, give me a follow.
lot of attention. Very cool. How'd you acquire it? I got it in a big trade that I did a couple weeks ago with my cousin, actually. Right. So, uh, pretty excited about it. It's a little favorite. It's not that expensive, but it's magic, you know? Everybody loves magic. magic. <laughs> yeah. Old Laker. Nice, man. How long have you been collecting? Uh, since uh, 1974. My dad bought me my first set in 1975, and I haven't stopped since. Amazing, man. That's cool, so, man. It's been a lot of fun. Now I have my two boys in it, and uh, it's family time, and my cousin, so we have a great time. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're here at the Mars Card Show. The guys put on an awesome event. They make sure they feed us all. They make sure that we all have great space out here. It's been really cool. Check out their shop if you haven't checked it out here in Camarillo. Uh, rolled through with some high dollar stuff today. Credentials Kobe rookies. You don't see finest gold, the war tech. Or even Ronaldo on cards. Even just picked up this bad boy right here from my buddy Armin Blue. Nice little LeBron jersey number card. Can't beat that kind of stuff. That's All right. Man. Check me out at Great Writer on Instagram. Uh, and also, if you haven't yet, as I said, come out check out these boys in Camarillo. Mark's cards. Appreciate you guys. Damn, you're looking fresh, bro. Yeah, you know, I had to come collect today, bro. man. Uh, gotta let people know I got a barbershop, yeah. you know? This <laughs> bit bigger than last time, dude. And then, it wasn't this part last time. Nah, it, it wasn't this time. Yeah. Get warmed up, get your feet wet. Yeah, we'll check it out, dude. Go yeah. We'll yeah. see you. Later, guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> my boy Joey. Keep <laughs> putting cops up here, bro. Joe working, man. Like little, like little Ryan. I'm trying to like get him up. It. I like it, bro. Uh, did, did you see what I uh, put this? I didn't, bro. I didn't. One on one, bro. The other guy. Instagram or? Yeah, we just posted it. Yeah. Case of emergency. And, uh, I just <laughs> traded night. for this today. Oh, that's it. Yeah. My boy Joe's been making some moves, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like it, dude. I like the young, the young guns in the hobby, yeah. This one and this Kaboom. This is from Burbank. I had to get that. All right, boy. Kaboom out of downtown. Yeah. Like for the newer stuff. Dude, that's the thing. Everybody wants to switch in there. Yeah. This is when you get to react on that. Like, oh, my God. Did you see Ronald Dino? Oh, did you, did you get a chance to see it? I didn't get a photo of him. A lot of people did. It was tight. It was tight. It was crazy. So I was like, I got that time. It's really cool for me because uh, he's having fun with it. Yeah, yeah. And it's just building that relationship, like, that, keeping that bond as father-son. Yeah. And like a lot of the dope shops are like father-son, bro. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's pretty crazy. It's like a cool <laughs> thing for you guys to like, do together. Hell yeah. yeah. It's dope. He actually, he collects uh, baseball. Oh, really? Yeah, he likes Shohan and like all those, uh, we always try to rip like 18, like 2018 stuff product. We're looking for Shohan and these. I think he's like, it's a gold uh, frame, I think. That's his year. I can't believe you don't do any football, though. It's like, uh, it's weird, bro, because like playing in the league and then like being in the locker room with all the guys, it's kind of hard for me to collect them. You know what I mean? Because like we're with each other all day. <laughs> it makes sense, though, right? But it's like you wouldn't think about that, like. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> but I do have some stuff like on card stuff that I just collected over the years, just random, randomly throughout yeah. the year. Like I have a whole bunch of Ocho Cinco cards and like stuff from the Bengals. Yeah. But I really regret like not getting any of Lamar Jackson or any of uh, yeah. these young dudes, man. The quarterbacks, I'm like, damn it. But I did uh, build a relationship with them, and uh, they're really cool. Yeah. yeah, soccer's been my uh, our, our niche, and I feel like uh, it's been getting better and better in the like in the hobby. Yeah. It's uh, Joseph Pecco underscore ninety underscore ninety six. I mean, I'm collecting baseball, soccer, and Pokemon. Why do you like soccer? It just it's just a really cool sport. I just made a deal for eight hundred fifteen dollars, but. Um, one of my first deals, I've gotten this Pele and Lino Messi card, four of five. I've treated four cards and a World Cup box for it. it was one of my biggest trades, one of my baseball cards, it was a Shohan Otani rookie one, and I got $1,000. We, we started a couple months ago, like, collecting, like, seriously, and, like, a bunch of people have helped us. People at Mark's Cards, Burbank at like uh, Valley Sports up in the Tarzana and the the, no I had the bullpen. They helped yeah. us out. They helped us Man, out. Finish, baby. <laughs> and the, but the people who like who helped us like like the most What's is probably right? Mark's cards for sure. It's uh, Joseph Pecco underscore 96. Jay-Z-A cards. Cool. What do we have right here? This one is uh, second year uh, inserts. It's a Pops uh, less than 20. 
It's really rare. Uh, locally, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, early last year, so I got it for a pretty good price. It's really hard to come by, especially for German condition. Yeah, you, you don't see this around. Oh, start date. You can miss on on start date, right? Yeah, I actually got this at the national this year. Yeah. How'd you like the nationals? It was great. I love it. Love the vibes. Yeah. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool, uh, what's your Instagram page? Uh, Best Coast Cards. Uh, what do you like to collect? Everything, bro. We got. I got comics in the in the works. I got wax. We got Pokemon. We got football. I got I'm starting soccer. I got it all, man. If kids stop by. I got packs for the kids. Football, Pokemon. We got it all, man. We're here just to keep the hobby growing, keep it alive. Well, how long have you been collecting? Uh, recently, just a couple years back on, when I was a kid, collected all the time, trying to find that collection still, <laughs> finding them here and there. But you know, just uh, trying to keep it instilled. You know what I mean? In the youth. That's cool, man. What do you like about the hobby? Just the fact of just how diverse it is, man. Just how everybody collects. You can you meet the people from across the world, literally. It's, it's the craziest thing. I've sold to people across the, the U.S. already from almost every state, you know what I mean, just on eBay. So it's kind of crazy who you can meet. Best Coast Cards. Perfect. Instagram is LA Sports Cards underscore. Go follow us, and we have all this wax in stock, plus more stuff in the warehouse. So, actual owner has been collecting since he was like four or five. Yep. So we got all this wax, we also have our slabs collection. I do collect, but I have only two cards in my collection in soccer. I'm a soccer fan, so I collect only soccer cards. And what are those two cards? Uh, Iker Casillas, who is a goalie, he already retired. And Gianluigi Buffon, who is also a goalie, he's retired too. I used to, I used to be a goalie. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you're a goalie? Yep. Nice, man. Cool. So those are people that you personally like to collect? Yes. Underscore get it graded. Nice, man. How long have you been collecting? I'm um, over 10 years, bro. Uh, what's your PC? Uh, my PC, Derek Carr and mm -hmm. the Raiders. You see the Raiders. I've been opening packs since I was three. <laughs> nice. And the future collector right here makes me spend all my earnings. You guys got any cool cards you see? Show them some yeah. cards you want to show. Uh, the Tyree Kevin and John Wall. Okay, hold it nice and still. Number 10. Perfect. All right, next one. The Dan McClellan and Damon Thomason. All the way to Derek Carr, one of one exquisite, bro. Everything, exquisite Raiders. That's me. Huh? This is my first show, but I've been collecting for a lot of years. The yeah. More relationships you build, and more collectors you meet. Yeah, yeah, that's what's really about. I didn't really care about selling much. Just wanted to come and mingle, you know, yeah. network. How, how did you know Mark's cards? Yeah, Mark's, well, since they opened up the store right here in Camarillo, I started coming on the, the day of the grand opening. I think I came a day early, bro. I was ready, like, what's good? <laughs> I, like yeah, I missed that. the first show because I wasn't feeling well, but I would have been here like, the first show of Mark's show. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't feeling too well, so I was in bed sad because I wasn't here, but I was like, I'm making the next one for sure. Well, we appreciate you coming yeah, out here so for sure, We're man. not going to miss no more, bro. We're going to stay consistent. Well, it might even get bigger, too, so. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of people, bro. Yeah, it was good, too. They're not too, I mean, over here on this side, there's not yeah. that many shows, yeah, bro. Not, we not. gotta move, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're happy to get some shows closer. I'm yeah. gonna have a show as well, too. It's at least a building. Okay. So um, it's like an open bar and everything. So it's gonna be inside. Okay, you wanna plug that? Yeah, yeah. So um, it's gonna be like in two weeks. So um, I have the info on my on my Instagram. Okay. Um, underscore get it graded. And it's gonna be like inside. So it's gonna be an open bar and some food and everything. So cool, yeah, it ain't gonna be no sun or none of that. You know what I mean? So you can have a drink. Cool. One more time. Your Instagram. Nice All right, underscore get it graded. Uh, I've been breaking for a long time. A lot of you guys know me through that. You know, you guys know me through other establishments. You guys know me uh, being Toby's partner. Um, there's many ways that you guys have known me through the shows, through Frank's. But uh, yeah, Mid City Cards, this is the face. Uh, I've probably been collecting since 96. I'm old. Uh, probably inten more intensely. But yeah, it's kind of been constant through my life. I mean, anytime that you can use something in like this sort of setting to make friends of like any age, and I mean, you talk about all common thread where you don't have to worry about like politics or any of the outside stuff. You just come hang out with cards and sports. It's like, it's a perfect mix. You know, you see people from all walks of life and you guys are all just talking about cards. Can't really beat that. I would like watch like auctions and stuff when I was a kid. Basically, she got this whole set of like the first baseball cards for like a million dollars. And I was like, wow, a million dollars? You can get, like, you know? Um, and ever since then, I was like, fuck it, you know, like, I never did it for the money, but I was just like, wow, this lady forgot about her cards when they got a million dollars? That's insane to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would say that episode of, uh, I think it was like Roadhouse Antiques, whatever they call it, I think that's what got me into it. And then 
the ice truck sold cars and I just never got away from it. Yeah, probably like my two favorite that I brought to the show. Uh, the Connor right here, 10 out of 50. When I posted on Instagram, a lot of people were going pretty crazy for it. Um, it has cooled just a bit, but it's still up there, you know, a couple grand. And then this is probably my favorite baseball player. Um, and I was able to actually get this today. Um, it's out of 2000. Yeah, Koufax 98 on cars. So probably like my best cars that I got on me right now. Yeah, follow me at Mid City Cars, guys. I mean, if you already follow me, you know what to see. If you don't already follow me, come see some singles, hang out, day in the life, special appearances, you know, just fun stuff. It's T Sports Cards, Matt. The Marks Cards Show. We got this cool card, Trey Turner Topps Chrome Rookie, BGS 9.5 out of 5. It's a misgrade. It's supposed to be no auto, and there's. <laughs> yeah. And then a Topps Chrome Orange, BGS 10 10 out of 25. Yep. It's very underrated right now. Doesn't have too much buzz, and in the postseason, He'll have some very good. Yeah. Like yep. T Sports Cards on Instagram. Check me out. I'm a high school wrestling coach, uh, head coach for Camarillo High School. So we have a boys uh, program, a growing girls program. Uh, last year we had six uh, six girls, but we already have up to 12 signed up for this next year. Um, obviously, we're a weird season uh, with COVID, but hopefully getting back to the mats this year. So. Very excited to get back out there. Uh, typically, we'll get about 60 to 80 wrestlers, but always looking for more. Absolutely, absolutely. You can email me at donald.montillo at oxnardunion.org. Um, we have tax ID numbers. It's tax, um, you get tax write-offs for any donations. If you want to support, we'd love the support. Um, everything goes straight to the program. It's for uniforms, for tournaments, for um, overnight tournaments out of um, out of the city, all that good stuff. Gets the kids out there. Um, I've been coaching with the program for this is my ninth year, my second year as a head coach. Oh man, it's just it's all about them. It's it's not about me. It's it, I, the, anything I get is for them. It's just I, it's just exciting to see young individuals grow into um, mature adults and all the great things that the sport brings to them. Uh, the maturity, the responsibility. It's just awesome to see them grow. So just get them, getting them on to the next step, whether that be wrestling in college or them even just getting jobs out there, going to the military. We just want to better our youth, and wrestling is one of the best ways to do it. Um, so I started when I was like in sixth, seventh grade. Um, I started with Coach Stokes. He's a local coach here. Um, I, I just fell in love with the sport. Um, I wrestled through high school, just loved it, and it did so much for my life. It's done so much for other people's lives. It just teaches you just to keep going, to endure. It's one of those sports where it's not for everybody. Not everyone could do it. Um, everyone is able to do it, but not everyone ha can has that in them. And the ones that do, you really find something special. So I think it's just giving back to the community now. Oh, there's so many things that could benefit from. So it just depends. Um, athletes, especially multiple sport athletes, we got a lot of football players. It really helps develop skills in all over other other uh, sports and disciplines. Um, but the responsibility it teaches you, the dedication, um, I mean, you're, you just get so much out of the sport just as a person. Um, your work ethic has got to be through the roof when you're a wrestler, and you carry that carries over when you're in, working in careers and things. So, I mean, it just does so much for you. Fire.collectibles. And my friend that left is Pulling.Heat. Give him a shout out, please, for me. Pulling.Heat. Awesome dude. Uh, for me, probably over 10 years at least now. I kind of got back into it because, you know, everybody nowadays. But otherwise, my friend, I don't even know how long he's been doing it, honestly. But we have fun. That's all that matters. All right, so what do you like to collect? Uh, Pokemon for me, pretty much. Sports. Um, you know. I keep up with it best I can, but my friend pulling out heat, he's all about the sport, so please, like I said, give him a follow on Instagram, show him some love. <laughs> Just smack down packs. Oh, like that's an autograph right sometimes there. in there. From 99. Ah, okay. See, I like that. Funny, funny cool stuff there. Like, quirky, unique. Some of the Zards. Uh, tell me a little bit about the one on the, your right hand. Uh, it's supposedly the first ones that they uh, made, like before Top Sun, before like the card game. And uh, really hard to grade. And then uh, these from Neo Destiny. Love these. It's like my favorite Charizard at the matter. Well, next to the Shadowless one, but had to have one of these. And what does something like that go for? It's two grand for this one. And uh, look for like five grand for this one. Wow. If you look on eBay, it's like 12. 